shopping trip at Cartier. As you can see by my top it's not the same day yesterday i came home and so many things were piling up that i didn't have time to come back on camera or do the unboxing so i waited until today and you saw in the vlog part already we have a double unboxing but i decided to do not to do the unboxing of both pieces in one video we will do one unboxing today and the other unboxing next week because I'm observing when I did in the double unboxings in the past, the perception or attention does not equally get divided on both pieces. One piece is always the loser. So I decided to show you one piece I got now and the other one next week and um, or very soon. And I wanted to say a few words about my experience at Cartier. It was awesome. I haven't been at Cartier since um, I bought the Clash small earrings and the ring. That was in April, May before the last price increase. And um, they are always so welcoming, so nice, so friendly. And I wanted, I, I get so many PMs and I love it, love it, love it that you reach out to me on Instagram or I'm so so happy that you guys started reaching out a lot to me on Instagram and my Instagram I put a little drop down here is also same handle Reshmi underscore beauty around the world and um, I get so many questions we learn so much from each other I really really love it and um, I had a lot of um, conversations about SAs and since I know Thank you again, my subscribers who see me for a longer time, you know these stories already. But for my new subscribers, just quickly, I did at Cartier an SA change. I started at Cartier with one SA and uh, down the road I was observing that she was not treating me like other customers are being treated. Like I wouldn't be offered a water or a coffee. Then when I purchased from her, and I purchased a whole lot from her, I purchased my two love bracelets, the clue bracelet, and um, three or four necklaces, earrings, a lot of items I purchased from here, her, and she would never pack me even a travel pouch or cleaning kit, if at all, I think one time, by mistake, she put a perfume sample in my bag. So, and after interacting with uh, more Cartier lovers and VCA lovers, I heard that how the treatment should be, and I saw it also myself, looking at other customers sitting next to me in the store, and the boiling point was one time when I went with my child and he was not even offered a glass of water, nothing. And I came to know and I saw also in the past that children usually get a paint book or a hot chocolate. They are treated really nicely because I mean those are most likely their future customers, the brand's future customers. So and nothing has been done for my child. And that was the point where I decided, no, I'm changing my SA. And now my SA, I cannot even call him new because I'm with him for a while, is amazing. He is, he makes things that are not possible possible. He is super polite. He is, he is just amazing on a lot of levels and I love going to the store now. Of course, that previous SA is still there and gives me the death stare every time I enter the store, but the, all the other people make it so welcoming that I don't care about that. And if you feel not treated adequately by the SA or by anybody, just dare to switch, it cannot be worse. So those were my 50 cents for that. And um, we made the two purchases here. And both purchases are in this bag. And he packed me some gifts here in this bag. And uh, we will open them in the second unboxing. Today, we will just do that one unboxing because I'm anyway fearing this video will be so long with the whole vlogging part. And there will be more vlogs coming up. 
I want to go to Tiffany soon too. I want to check out the Pharrell Williams collection with the spikes and it looks very nice in my opinion, especially the earrings. And uh, we will go a little bit holiday shopping, window shopping and so on in the near future. So if you haven't yet, I recommend you subscribe so you don't miss out on videos. And now I'm taking you down, showing you what I got. And after that, I will come back and say a few words why I got what I got. So you guys, let me see. So here you can see, these are the two um, certificates here. This is the invoice and he packed me some travel pouches in this one. And um, this is the one we are unboxing first, I believe. Let me see. Yes, this is what we will be unboxing first because um, I got the two items he marked with this little cute card here. Which one is which? Love it. He's really thoughtful because otherwise I would not have known which one is which item. And just so you know, Cartier has no clue that I make these videos and I wanted to keep it that way. Because, you know, I don't want, I make these reviews completely personal. I give you my honest, true opinion. And if the brand knows you are doing the videos, maybe they would interfere somehow. So nobody knows that I make these videos. And that's why um, I am completely unbiased and tell you exactly why I buy what and how my journey is and so on. So we have the beautiful, beautiful wax sticker, which I haven't seen in a long time. If you know me, you know I'm not the best person opening these items, but let's see. I know Madame Style Icon, I think she keeps these wax thingies, but I always mess them so badly up that I never keep these. I kept, at the beginning I tried to keep the wrapping paper, but then it was getting like too much and I disposed them. It's so beautifully packed. I love it. The red box. There's nothing better than the red box. Seriously, I love that they don't change their packaging too much and that they stay true to themselves. I don't know why all the boxes are already half open when I open them. They need to work on their lock mechanism of their boxes. Ta ta da ta. I bought the classic yellow gold love ring after such a long time I'll give you a few more shots and then I'll take you up to tell you why I bought it I have my first purchase my first purchase was when I went the first time to Cartier, December 21st, 2021. I still remember these were the two items I bought in my first visit. So I have the small wedding band and I went, I'll take you up now and tell you, but these two I have already and 
this was the first Cartier ever purchased for me. And I got yesterday the classic love wedding band. And I think they will look very nice stacked also. But now I'm taking you up and I'm going, and on the other hand, I'm wearing right now the clash ring. And I'll take you up now quickly and we'll talk to you about So you guys, here I'm back again. So when I went the first time on December 21st, 2021 to that other SA, the counseling was also not great, I have to say. She sold me on um, the... love wedding band which is the thinner version of the love ring and the clue and when i bought these two i thought i would stack them together but that is not what happened if you watch my videos you know how i wear my rings but i'll show you quickly so what i wore since december 21st 2021 every single day was this Stack. This is the Cartier. Uh, this is the Cartier Clue, of course, the small one, no diamonds, nothing, very bland. And this is the Tiffany True ring, and this is the best ring ever. I will make a video about that soon too, and two year update or three year update. I wore this three years. I cannot believe it's been three years every single day like that. And um, the Clue ring also never snagged, bothered me or anything. And <coughs> the love wedding band, I got that same day and I went, I purchased it around noon, I would say. And the next morning I went back to Cartier overnight. I didn't wear it, nothing, but sometimes you sleep over something and re-decide. And I decided I want the wedding band. I so mean I the love ring, the wedding Cartier band the is the thinner day. one and ask them to exchange this piece against this piece. And they said, he said, let me take a look. And he looked, it's not my SA, some other SA, not even that SA who didn't, was not so nice. She was not there, I think, that day. Some random SA checked it and said, no, we cannot do an exchange. And I said to him, I still clearly remember, but I just bought it yesterday. I didn't wear it. If you see anything wrong with it, that means that um, you gave it to me that way. He said, there's nothing wrong with it, but we cannot do the exchange. So I was like, okay, maybe it's meant to be that I have this wedding band. And I wore it for a while with my engagement ring and it was okay. But I always had this one in my head. So I wore a, so I had this one always in my head. So I went and I'm open and honest here on my channel. I tell you all how it is. I decided to buy a, you know how they sell the love stuff on Amazon. So I decided to buy one on Amazon to even see if I feel comfortable with the size. That thing was amazing. I wore that thing because I kind of grew out of this one also until now. I was wearing it until now and there's still nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Amazon one. I think I paid maybe $20 for it and it's still fine and I was wearing that for the longest longest time and if you ask me to put a link here I cannot they don't sell that anymore. I bought it like two years ago or something and I'm, I'm some of my friends asked me to give them the link that thing is not there anymore so um, I cannot give you the link but it's just an Amazon love ring and um, I was wearing that two years all the time 
And then I decided yesterday, okay, let me get the ring now also before that gets also more and more and more expensive. So I, that's the reason why I got the love ring because, you know, a lot of YouTubers do these videos and this is not to throw shade or anything. That's fine. Everybody has that has a different personal perception and I find it also interesting to see what other people think. A lot of people talk about entry level things. Like these things are for some people entry level things. For me, a ring of $2,000 is not an entry level thing. So if you ask why I buy the sweet VCA pendant now or the love ring, which is for so many people basic and entry level now after I build up my whole collection, that is, I said it many times, because I wanted to buy the more expensive pieces first, like my bracelets and necklaces and so on. And um, so now I'm very content with what I have that I can add the little bits and pieces which I feel will make the collection even more wholesome so i bought this one that's the whole reason why and i can wear that with my tiny engagement ring i can stack it with um, the small wedding band if i want to and um, one more thing i wanted to show you you can see here I'm wearing the stack like this. I can stack these two now also if I want for occasion, although I don't like the look too much, but if I want to, I can mirror that here. And um, I'm pretty happy about it. And I even think I was just trying that on before I uh, turned the camera on with the Tiffany True Ring. And this is the small clash ring. I have a video about it. Sorry for my nose. Nose is a little bit runny. Now everybody is sneezing and sniffing around me. So I'm tr trying to not get it. But I mean, if you have a kid at school, then it's kind of unavoidable to get also a little bit something. So that is the first unboxing. And now to stay tuned for the next unboxing because that is actually that made my heart skip a beat the next unboxing and there will be I think you will love the next unboxing video because I know a lot of you are also interested in that piece. I saw that piece, I knew I will buy that piece, although I didn't want to buy anything before Christmas, but I couldn't hold my horses for this one. So stay tuned, I will try to make that video of that other piece by next week so you can go and see and leave me a comment if you enjoyed the vlog what you think about the love ring i feel the love ring is such a piece that's i was wearing that amazon one for two years straight so comfortable you never feel it and it's just beautiful and since i wear the classic love bangle all the time every day this came never off since i purchased it never i bought this in summer 2021 it never ever came off so i'm very happy that i got this piece now too i have also the love earrings and necklace so i'm i'm very happy about this purchase let me know if you have the love ring what you think about the love ring is it too basic is it still worth buying what do you think and i hope i see you in the next one Bye.